Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to uh, demonstrate how to set up intrusion uh, detection system using SNOT on PSSense. Uh, SNOT is an uh, intrusion detection and prevention system. SNOT protects your network against hackers, security threats. SNOT monitors uh, network traffic and uh, analyzes against uh, predefined rules and then categorizes network attacks into different categories. Finally, it's not uh, invokes uh, these actions against uh, matching rules. Uh, in this case, uh, you should uh, consider deploying intrusion detection and prevention system to protect uh, your network and attackers. As a first step, we need to install a uh, SNOT package. Let's head over to uh, system menu and select package manage from the drop down and select available package. In here, search for SNOT, hit the install button and click confirm. This installation will grab the required reports uh, from uh, PFSense repositories. Now installation has been completed. Now I'm going to configure SNOT settings. Now let's head over to service tab and select SNOT from the drop down menu. In here move on to global settings section at this time I am going to sign up for free account okay uh, I already have uh, signed into my uh, account in here you can see oint master code this is the oint master code copy this text and paste it in here uh, they have uh, thousands of uh, predefined rule sets uh, these rules are the source for the SNOT system. Point master code uh, is used to in order to download the free SNOT rule set. This rule set uh, database update every 24 hours. And also uh, we can use SNOT GPL version 2 rule set and emergent threats rule set. We don't need to register for the uh, two of these accounts rule sets. Then uh, head over to source fire open app id detectors section enable open app id and then enable rules open app id open app id detectors uh, rules uh, enables application detections and uh, filtering facility to the snort uh, snort app id has uh, an ability to look at the application layer uh, which is the layer 7 uh, we can look at uh, the application which running in the system now let's head over to role update settings now i'm going to select one day for the role updates interval in here under the general settings select reasonable time for the remove long hours interval in here i'll set uh, into 30 minutes uh, in here if someone did nasty thing in your network uh, that device will be automatically uh, will be blocked by the system uh, then either you need to unblock the, un unblock that device manually or 30 minutes later it will be unblocked automatically okay and now hit the save button now let's head over to update section then hit the update rules button in this uh, it will download all required rules automatically initially it take uh, it will take a little longer time wait until it's completed okay uh, now uh, rule set has been updated successfully uh, here you can see uh, each rule set has been updated here then uh, we need to add snort uh, service into an interface in here i'm going to add the van interface into snort service now head over to snort interface section now i am going to add the snort to an interface uh, then we need to uh, add a WAN interface to a SNOT interface section. Uh, let's uh, move to SNOT interface section and click the add button. In here, enable the in interface. Always uh, we need to select a WAN interface as a SNOT interface. Provide a meaningful description. Enable alerts, uh, send alerts to system logs. Enable this section as well. Search optimize and move down further. 
hit the save button uh, then we need to uh, define uh, which type of rules will protect the network to do so uh, head over to interface section to do so head over to interface uh, we have uh, selected already and uh, hit the edit button and then move to van category step in here uh, we need to select in here we need to select you uh, uh, use IPS poli policy section should be enabled in here if you are not uh, familiar with the snort I recommend you to use uh, connectivity option as a starting point but uh, at this point I am going to use security as my uh, IPS policy and also you can enable uh, and select other rules set such as uh, GPL2 community rules and uh, ET open rules as well select, uh, select the rule set whatever you need to uh, use at this point I am going to enable the all ET rules for demonstration purpose now uh, move down further and hit the save button now I am going to uh, configure snort uh, furthermore uh, let's head over to uh, van preprocessor section uh, you can enable uh, performance stats if you need uh, if you want to have a login in-depth details and auto rule disable uh, option should be enabled as well I'll move down further in here uh, under the application ID detection section expand this column and enable open app ID detection now uh, better if uh, rest of the other settings leave it as it is move the bottom of the <coughs> page and hit save and then uh, make sure to update once again after the app id enabled so i am going to update section and hit update rules button okay uh, now it's time to uh, start the snort service so let's head over to interface snort interfaces tab and select the interface and click on the small play button uh, then it will be start the service on the van interface at this time you will notice uh, this uh, considerable resource usage uh, uh, using by snort service uh, better if you uh, consider updating uh, pfSense box uh, Snort on pfSense is a bit uh, resource hungry application uh, therefore you may need to update your hardware resources on PF, pfSense box check the resource utilization before implemented on the production environment uh, then we need to know how to view Snort alerts uh, now move to alerts tab okay uh, now I'm going to uh, show you uh, on my VM and uh, open up some uh, virus infected websites and uh, potentially dangerous websites in here you can see some uh, app ID uh, related logs available these are the top 100 uh, potentially dangerous websites uh, some of these websites uh, sometime later it should be uh, alerted on the uh, snort uh, system okay uh, I'll open some uh, more website from here let the pages to be opened okay now you can see here uh, there are some alerts available uh, with uh, their source IPs port and uh, destination port and destination address uh, as well as uh, there are some uh, block websites IP address available 
you can see here there are HTTP related alerts available so which means uh, it's not system uh, working perfectly uh, on the PF sense there are uh, there are two block sites IP address available and some alerts here okay uh, now you may have some idea about uh, how to playing around with the uh, snort intrusion detection system i uh, hope this video may helpful for you uh, finally uh, please hit subscribe to keep in touch for future videos like this thank you very much